Another way to show the effect of air pressure on a can is to take just an aluminum pop can and add a small amount of water to that and then use a torch to heat up the water. Again, a torch works rather rapidly and then use a pair of tongs to heat or to hold the, the can. And again, we want to get the water to boil rapidly. It can be done with a, an alcohol burner, but that goes rather slowly. So we've got it heated up. Now let's do a close up. I'm now going to flip it over and lower it into the water and notice what happened to my can. It completely got squished. Here I'm heating a second can. Getting the water to boil vigorously. And now I'll flip it over in the bowl. And notice how the can is collapsed. This reaction works rather rapidly. When I put it upside down in the cold water, that causes the steam that's inside the can to condense extremely rapidly. And as it does so, it creates a very low pressure inside the can, which then results in a high pressure on the outside, resulting in the air pressure squishing the can and causing it to collapse. The trick is to get it really good and hot, get the steam um, completely to fill the space inside the can so to expel all of the air and then to lower it rapidly in some cold water. Uh, I'm using a fishbowl here but you can use almost any container in which you can lower the uh, pop can. It's important to hold it with tongs because it does get very hot um, and also then hold it at a distance from you. By putting it in quickly the water cannot go in fast enough and so the pressure is reduced very rapidly much faster than the water can go in through the opening and so therefore the external pressure acting on the can results in its collapse.